what if I want to use the bootstrap and I want to create a grid for that what happens then okay so if you want to create a grid we already have that option available in bootstrap so let me go to bootstrap okay uh, I'll go to layout and then I'll go to grid uh, before we even get into the loop I think it's important that we follow the grid system structure so to follow that it says you have to wrap it inside of container which we have done that already so you can see that this is wrapped inside of container and then you need to have a div within with the class of row as well so let's do that over here so before we actually start this while loop I need to wrap it inside of a div with a class of a row so I can do my grid system okay and that's when we'll start this now in order for us to create columns we need to check our index so I'll create a variable called index and then number of columns let's create a variable called number of columns let's say we want to create a three column grid okay and then this is where we start the loop okay inside of the loop I'll just get rid of the title and the, the content for now and then over here I want to wrap it inside of this div with the column uh, classes so that I can have three columns so how do we do that so what we can do is we can say if so what we're going to check is if index number of columns so remainder of the index divided by number of columns equal to zero so equal to zero let me just close it I need to write some HTML div and over here I can give it a class of column large 4 I want so 12 divided by 3 is 4 which means there will be 3 columns when the screen is large when the screen is medium size then 6 12 divided by 6 is 2 so 2 column at that time and in the mobile I just want to have one column so small 12 okay so 12 divided by 12 which is one column great so we want to have a opening tag over here which means the, the very first time this loop runs it's going to render this div okay and then we also want to check that if index is not equal to zero so what this is going to display would be the closing tag of the div right this one so let me just okay cool so the first time it runs this is going to be true because the modulus operator is for the remainder so when 0 is divided by 3 the remainder is 0 uh, so this will be true so this this will be opening tag and then when the index is not equal to 0 which means in the first case this will not be met and if the remainder of index modulus operator number of columns so the same same case over here if this is equal to 0 which means that in the first time this loop is run this condition will not be met because the index will be equal to 0 this will be displayed actually and then okay and inside of this is where we need to ser serve the content what I'm going to do is let's just go ahead and write some HTML so I'm going to say h3 and then inside of this I'll say the title okay and let's also do the excerpt so I'll say div and the excerpt okay now if I refresh you can see awesome this is exactly what we wanted we actually wanted them to be into columns three columns and that's exactly what's happening if I minimize it now you can see it's two and now it's one awesome so how is it working let me just recap that for you so how did it work 
So let me show that to you. The first time it comes over here, the index is zero. So I'm just going to write that over here so that it's easy for you to understand. Let's say first case, uh, or maybe you can just write case. Case index equals zero. So let's say the first time index is zero. Okay, comes over here, checks is the remainder of the three modulus zero is zero. Yes, it is. So it's going to print that. Let's see. Zero modulus three is zero, which is great. Condition is met. It's printed the first one. Great. Then it comes over here, prints the title, the excerpt. Let's open it up and see. Yes, it did one and two. Then it goes down. Index is incremented by one. So now the index value is so value equals one. Is index value not equal to zero? Yes, that's met. But this is not met because it's not equal to zero because one uh, modulus three is not equal to zero. Take a look. One modulus three is not equal to zero, which means this is not met. So it's not going to print that. So, so far what we've got it, we've got the opening, we've got the H3, we've got this div. Okay. Next up. Then it again goes ahead and uh, comes back over here. Now index value is one. Checks it. Is one modulus three equal to zero? No, it isn't. It's going to go ahead and skip this. We'll come back over here, print the H3 and the div. So H3 and the div, which is great. Come over here. Now index value is two. Is it meeting? Is two modulus three zero? No, it isn't. Skip that. Come back over here. Now the index value is two. Two modulus three meeting? No, didn't meet that. So we'll print these two. Did it do that? Yes. One, two. Great. Coming back, incremented the index value. Now index value is three. So is three modulus three equals zero? Yes, it is. And is the index not equal to zero? Yes, it isn't, which means this condition is met. That's why it printed the div, which means our loop is complete. Awesome. So this is how the loop is run. And you can see that it gives me an opening div and then title excerpt, title excerpt, title excerpt, and then finally my closing div. And this is just going to get repeated because now if it comes back over here again, and now the index value is, is three and three modulus three is zero, which means this is met again, it's going to print this and the same thing goes on and on until it finishes the loop. Okay, great. Awesome. So I hope that was clear to you how we actually achieved this grid. It was pretty simple, but uh, once you understand it, it is super simple. Okay, great. So let me get rid of this and uh, let's get rid of this as well. So I think so far uh, you've understood how these things are working. And in the next video, we are now going to go ahead and start uh, rendering uh, different information like uh, the title permalink so that when the user clicks on it, it takes them to the single page, uh, also different categories. And we will also be printing the read more uh, we will also be showing the read more button so user can read it because currently we are only showing a part of the content. So we can take him to the single page where he can read the entire content of the post and so on and so forth. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imranit Sayed and on Twitter as well. The Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay then, see you then. Bye-bye.